Across the street, a fan clocks me, yeah? Oh, nah. And he starts filming me. And then what do I get? What do I see on my Insta? Maddest thing, I just watched your buddy G fighting with a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I met Ronaldo. Is it? He's like, nice guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, proper nice guy, bro. He had like 10 agents around him, 10 security. It was mad. And they were like, look, whatever you do, don't ask him for a picture, yeah? I said, hello. He shook my hand. I said, let me get a pic. Straight away. I come up, bro. I'm not going to not say that. <laughs> you get me? He started laughing. He said, give me your phone. And I was like, oh, this guy's my guy. Really? He's trying to take the good pic and that. I was like, sir, really? I wish you all the best in the World Cup. I hope you get top goal scorer. You're the best. I was trying to massage his ego. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was gas still. What, I what would you expect someone would say about you? What do you think your friend, your friend would say? The only time I don't take pictures of people is if, if I'm with my mum. Yeah. Um, I feel like... You know what I'm saying? I'm doing something personal. That's the only time where if I'm in the middle of food and someone comes up to me, I'll say, yo, just let me finish eating and I'll come take a picture of you. And sometimes kids are like, no, allow that, man. Let me get a picture. No, <laughs> no genuinely. Really? Bro, hurry up and yeah, finish genuinely. that, man. Let me get a picture, man. <laughs> you know what it is? Even then, yeah, I keep in mind, I just think, like, yeah. I remember before I was making music, obviously I was a massive fan of people like Chip and, and Skepta and that. that. Yeah. And, and really, you think, I'm never going to see this person in my life again. Exactly. And I really want a picture with them. So and I that understand. one moment, for you, it's, it can be like, yeah. you know, frustrating, you're eating, whatever. Yeah. But for them, for that them might be like, the, that one moment they ever meet you. But I remember yep. I was taking a piss, right? And I, was, mm. and I was there, and I was there, and I was like, this is bread drunk. And he did the double take. You <laughs> yeah. know the double take he's, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, bro, let me get a picture with you. I'm a big fan. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's stuff like that. There's, there's levels to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would literally walk beside you and just go yeah. like that. So, yeah, when yeah. they say his picture and he starts filming, I'm like, boss, that's, that's, a, that's not a, you know. <laughs> and then post them and be like, yeah, chilling with AJ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck my man like AJ, big up. Like, <laughs> when I was kind of starting out, I done it wrong bare times. How the like industry what? what do you think? What do you think? Up. Like, there was prints that I had um, and I wanted to sell them and things like that. And then, like, an artist said to me, like, Raw, you're in a sense, you're making money off my face. And I was like, yeah. Oh, I never really thought of thought that. Of I it. just took my picture and wanted to sell it. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I never really thought about the fact that, okay, people are buying it because it's got this artist in it. So, really, that's the selling point. So, there's like a. Etiquette. Yeah, there's an etiquette yeah. around it, innit? For me, when I first started making music, like, obviously, Ashley was about and like, I was spitting on grime sets and that. Like, grime is quite aggressive, you know what I'm saying? And I was quite an angry teenager, to be honest. I was quite aggressive, but like, obviously I'm 25 now. I've matured, I'm, I think differently. So I try to be myself as much as I can in my music. Everything I say is like, bro, it is what it is my life. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you do, you do, but it's me. So when people meet me, they, they don't know who I am, but they have an idea of what my morals are, what I stand for, da da da. You know what's interesting? Like, obviously I think like personally, grime, is like our punk, mm -hmm. yeah. right? It's like the music to rebel to, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had that negative connotation as well, but it's nowhere near as politically fueled as, and, yeah. and the negative as, as grime and like rap and hip hop has had. Mm -hmm. So like, what's that about? There's obviously a stigma attached to wearing tracksuits and being black and having plaits and all this stuff, but for me, most of the time, I just ignore it because I don't really care. I know who I am, you know what I mean? I'm a nice person. Of course, there's people lacking brain cells who <laughs> come and approach me like, yo, is this guy, gonna attack me or is this guy this gonna big aggressive? Like, literally, yeah, people walk, bro. I've seen people like, be like, oh, it's AJ Tracy, and then like, cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> Still filming you, though. Yeah. <laughs> and then they upload it to Instagram, you, they, yeah. hung out with AJ They've got Tracy 999 just from the keypad, yeah. and they're filming they're ready, you, just waiting for you to come. Have a place with bloody AJ Tracy again. <laughs> the grime boys. I spotted him. It's one, of the grime, it's one of the grime lads. One of the grime lads. <laughs> I remember shooting a footballer yeah. and I kind of asked him, like, what's like, the most difficult thing about being famous? And he's like, right, on your worst day, like, you still have to do that stuff. Like, yeah. For him stepping out his house and taking photos, it's not just about being him anymore. Like, it's much deeper than that. You have to be happy when you're not, basically. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's true, man, it's true. You're almost you know, assigned places where you can show emotion. Yeah, like, as a guy, that you're assigned well, you're places allowed to. where you're allowed yeah, to show yeah, emotion. Yeah, like, 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 where, you know, I used to go to football matches with, with my dad and my granddad, and, and it was fine. Like, if, if, you know, if we won and I was happy, or if we lost and I was, I was so sad. You know, like for Ashley being a Spurs fan, every week he's got to cry. Do you know what I mean? He's got to watch. You know, he's got to watch that. You know, I have to say it, but no, but it is weird. For me, I'll be honest with you, like. I've come to terms with like my my own mental health. Yeah. You get me? I, sometimes I'm sad. It is what it is. That there's not there's not a reason for it. I just I'm sad. And I acknowledge it. I don't like ignore it or try to bury it. I, I acknowledge it. You know what it is though, brother? Mm. I, I mean I can fully relate with that. And I think that no one teaches you how to deal with fame. Yeah. Or, or pressures of yeah, what you're true. doing or your work. And like fame is a weird one because you all of a sudden, you know, people don't give you that much attention in mm. your life. 
and then you do something, you know, you do something for yourself, and now all of a sudden you're getting all this love. Yeah. When no one teaches you how to deal with that Never, shit. Never, yeah. It's, not, it's a weird <laughs> thing, bro. It's not normal. Yeah, it's you not know normal still. I always found that the most important things were never being taught. Like the fact that guys suffer from like emotions and, and everything like that. You're taught with like, you're almost like told that that's a female thing. We haven't been taught how to process emotion. And that's why a lot of this, you know, everything grows from that. Hatred, racism, up shit, shit, shit grows shit, from shit, it because shit. you have this emotion where you think you're angry, but you're sad. Yeah. So it's like, they're you, close. You, you don't know where it is. There's yeah. a you thin line between, like, yeah. I don't know why I'm angry. Then you realize, no, no, no I'm not angry. I'm just sad. Yeah. But you can't say you're sad because you're, you're sad. You, you, shoot, you're shoot. emotional, bro. You need yeah. tissue, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, but you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, shoot, shoot. Growing, well, now it's better, but bro, back in the day, mm. you would never go up to your boy and go, you know what, bro, I just feel a bit down today. Yeah. I don't, you'd be like, what do you mean down, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No process. There's no process. But then you kind of go, well, then who makes that step to talk to someone? Because I know that. I'm fortunate enough to have another friend in my group of mates mm. who will like steer that chat mm. and will we'll look up, like check on you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Almost yeah, like, yeah. but not like in a weird way, but like yeah, everyone kind of has that yeah, one friend cool, that you just speak cool. to. Yeah. That's, that's another key thing as well, is like realizing how comfortable people are with their emotions and making them feel like they're able to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I'll text right. my, I have a couple mates who might be going through some stuff like how I am and I'll mm. text them and not make it seem like, oh, this is a target thing that all the man has got together and said, oh, look out for my man. Because then you feel like, oh, you're like the baby of the group. And you know what I'm saying? You don't want yeah, someone yeah, to feel yeah. vulnerable. I'll just text them and say, yo, you cool, bro? You cool? Like, what are you on today? And just get a convo out of them exactly. to check on them. You know what I'm saying? I've got four friends from Hounslow, my mm. brothers, yeah? Mm. We've always had that relationship. It's never been like, oh, I can't chat to about. Like, you know, it's just something you go through go and you just got to be like, listen, I'm not feeling too good. I was having mad anxiety a few months ago. Mm. Sometimes it, it's good to just slow down. Bro, it? you need that. You know, you need 100%. that. You need that. You got to recharge sometimes. Mm. I kind of spread out my issues like a lot. Like I don't, I don't, do, I don't really talk to. Like I have a core cool group, but I might talk to like this one about this thing, this one yeah. about that thing, and I kind of, I don't know. That is a bit easier for me. Like yeah. I think it kind of makes it easier for myself to digest, and spreading it out makes it easier to talk about because you've got one person that you talk to about this thing, and then you're not, you're not wearing them down with like everything that you've got yeah. going on. We've been making steps as men. I've seen it. Like we talk about it. You know, what I'm saying things that like, I see Stormzy talk about it a lot. Like, mm. I see Jay Huss talk about it. So I, when I seen Stormzy talk, about it, I was like, if he's talking about a thought, bro, I can talk about that. If he feels like that, I feel like that too. I'm gonna let people know because the little little kids look up to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They do. They 100%. do, man. They see what we're doing and they're like, oh, like if AJ thinks that's okay to be like, if he's saying it's okay to be sad, bro, it's okay to be sad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if the people are looking up to you are telling you, look, if you feel sad, it's cool. Don't worry about it, man. You get me? It's cool. It's alright to feel sad. Yeah, so hang on, what? We're picking, just picking the cards? Yeah. Was it clockwise, counterclockwise? We ain't even decided. What's going on, lads? Ah, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Text this to the biggest name in your phone book. Oh. Whoa. That's like forced that's you to do a nuts. name drop. Yeah, that's that's a forced name yeah, drop. Yeah, that's right? horrible, that's man. Horrible. <laughs> I need a dog sitter this weekend. Fancy it. At least it's not something what, mad. Who are you though. texting? Am I gonna do this? You got a nice list as well. I imagine your phone book's pretty. <laughs> the amount of prayers he yeah, 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 yeah. chats to. Can't lose your phone ever. Who is it though? Tell us, isn't it? Drop uh, that name. I'll have a look. Drop that name. Oh, gotta have a look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a folder. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go with Justin Bieber. Oh, oh shit. That's nuts. Yeah, that's big. That's nuts. I'm all gonna yeah, that's, that's pretty nuts. mad. That's gonna fly over to yeah. Foxy. Are you actually, is he actually, is he doing it? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's doing it, he's doing it. I can <laughs> confirm. I need a dog sitter this weekend. Fancy. Does he even know what fancy it means? Roman Kemp asked me if I fancy his dog. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, man. Wow. It's mad still. I lose my man. job. <laughs> Start some random Twitter beef. That's light. Oh, I've been man. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's light. That's light. I'll do that right now. Start Why don't you start some beef with Justin Bieber? We have a little, <laughs> we have a little link going on. <laughs> I, I, I heard you don't like doggy. I would love for Justin Bieber to reply to my tweet. Sadly, I feel like he's too busy for that. Yeah, he might be. What am I going to do? Like, we got against dogs, you bitch. So if he's dropped to album, just be like, your album's dead. Random tweet. Yeah, just... Random just tweet. listen to it, your album's dead. They're never making a mural for you. <laughs> um, my award dub will be ready for you at 7 p.m. tonight. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. Hashtag... Rastafari, hashtag One Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Which Game of Thrones character would you be? Um, Arya. Yeah, she's the Don, isn't it? She's called, I'm gonna ask you. She's the Don. With Needle. She's yeah, the Gold yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Name that song. Thank you for coming home. Sorry that all the chairs are worn. Yeah. 
It doesn't even rhyme. That's a spandau ballet lyric. Oh, right. Oh, it's your old man. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. <laughs> That's his old man. It's not his man. He wrote him. He wrote him. Oh, did he write him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gunning it. I see, I see, I see the running theme here. Anything yeah. I'm sure of, don't diss it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's done. Oh, shit. Whose DMs did you last creep in? Oh, shit. Mad. Mad. I'm glad that was not my one. Mad. Mad. Wow. Yeah, free it up. I feel like I should just pick someone that knows. Nah, free it up. <laughs> Don't try it. Free it up. Oh, mad. It's mad. Um, That's mad. mad. That's <laughs> mad. Oh, okay. I know one of them. Lost. That's how bad it is. Is it? Yeah, of course I do, man. Oh, allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Um, I'm going to say a kosher one because it's calm. Yeah, Mabel. Sick. Oh, that's... It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a very kosher, kosher almost yeah, halal, halal, halal yeah. answer. It's <laughs> a very halal answer. You're a snake, but that's still a <laughs> snakey guy. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Mad. Show the booth the last bitch you took on your phone. You guys saying that? Oh, shit. No, nah, no, nah, my thing's is halal, right? man. My thing's all halal, man. Gang. <laughs> 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 how halal this is. Me at the Spurs game. Wow, look, wholesome. <laughs> so wholesome. So wholesome. With wholesome my AJ, brother. I like that. Bare yeah. alibis oh. in your phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine, I swear to God, that's the last bitch I took. I swear to God, that is the last bitch I took. <laughs> yeah, we can share. When was the last time you cried? Mm. When I watched Avengers. I was there, midnight, and there was like a proper road man sitting next to me, because it was all sold out, there was one ticket left, yeah? No, but listen, proper, and his, and his boys there. <laughs> and, and it, the cinema, right? Listen, listen, he had like proper black frame glasses, yeah? And he took his, he, started, he was like, Yo, cuz it's hot in here, man. <laughs> he was like, my eyes. He was like, he was like yeah, his boys are like, he was like, my eyes, bro, it's so hot in here, man. And I was like, I, I couldn't say shit because I had like, yeah, I, I, I was choked up a little bit. So yeah, Avengers Endgame had a little. Fair enough. Well, isn't this a pleasure? Can you tell each of us your booth truth? Man is, you have to know bad to know good. Mm, facts. Impulse. My mantra. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Yeah. I, I always think, and I've lived by this kind of way of thinking, <laughs> don't rely on anyone else for your own happiness. Mm -hmm. It's so super cliche, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but genuinely, be yourself and be happy with yourself. Genuinely. Right, Deb? Nice one. <laughs> <laughs>